first up, Philip Hughes continues to feature in trends on Twitter across Australia, along with the hashtag 63NotOut. This image was posted by Cricket Tasmania today. Tasmania and Cricket New South Wales players observe 63 seconds before the start of their match. From the South Australian Cricket Association, we now have six full condolence books from this memorial at Adelaide Oval. On the other side of the world, this image was shared on Instagram by Hugh Jackman, just before Curtin on Broadway, paying tribute to Philip Hughes. In Canberra, the Prime Minister has led a condolence motion in Parliament for the Australian cricketer. Tony Abbott says Hughes's death is a reminder that life is both precious and fragile. Death is the certain end to every life, but it never loses its power to shock and dismay, as we've all found since the passing of Philip Hughes last week. He was a great cricketer. He was grand company. He was the best of sons and the best of brothers. His death has so affected people because it happened in the midst of life at its most exuberant. He was 63 not out, on his way to a century and a return to the test team. Our nation will remember Philip Hughes not for how he died, but for how he lived and for what he loved. And perhaps today all of us should remember to tell the people that we care for how much we love them. Life is bigger, more precious and more fickle than any game. May you rest in peace. And Cricket Australia has posted a tweet. It says no decisions have been made about the first test. It says it will update once it has more information. It also thanks people for their patience. Well, now to Victoria. Twitter says Labor's Vic Votes win generated five times as many tweets on Election Day compared to the entire 2010 campaign. This image was posted on the Facebook page of the Premier-elect Daniel Andrews. The text alongside it reads, We're getting to work straight away. I couldn't be prouder that my first act of office is declaring an end to the war on paramedics. I look forward to working with paramedics, not against them, to fix the broken ambulance system and help save lives. Mr Andrews is standing by his pre-election commitment to scrap the East-West Link Road project. That's despite a request from the Prime Minister to change his position on the matter. He invited me to break my commitment on East-West and I indicated to him that I would not be doing that. Uh, we then talked about the many other infrastructure uh, priorities that we've laid out, the opportunities for us to partner with him in him delivering on his commitment to the Australian community that he'd be an infrastructure PM. Uh, we've agreed uh, to meet face to face uh, whenever we can arrange that with some, not urgency, but we're not going to waste time. It'll happen before the end of the year. And the outgoing Premier, Dennis Napthine, has posted an image on Twitter. It's captioned, thanks to all Victorians for the great honour and privilege of being the 47th Premier. While Peter Ryan had this tweet, it's been an honour and privilege to have led the Nationals for 15 years, but I am not seeking national leadership again. He'll continue as the member for Gippsland South. Well, it didn't take long. A video featuring the incoming Premier has been gaining traction online. The clip has been compiled by Daniel Bowen, suggesting the new government will be all about a dessert. An Andrews Labor government will be all about pudding. Because an Andrews Labor government will be all about pudding. I'll always be about pudding. That's why I'm determined that an Andrews Labor government will be all about pudding. There have been major scuffles in Hong Kong between riot police and activists calling for free elections. This image has been posted on Twitter by the South China Morning Post. It reports a man believed to be a police officer is stretched away from the scene of the clashes. Injuries have been reported on both sides. Video has been shared online showing police moving in on protesters outside government headquarters. Activists have been moved along to the main protest site where tens of thousands of people have gathered in support of free elections over the past two months. Sony Pictures is investigating whether hackers with links to North Korea might be to blame for a cyber attack on the studio last week. The breach came ahead of the release of a comedy called The Interview. The film features a CIA plot to assassinate North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Pyongyang has denounced the movie, describing it as an act of war. The reported link by Recode to the cyber attack hasn't been confirmed. Sony's computer system went down last Monday just before screens showed a red skull in the phrase hacked by GOP. It reportedly stands for Guardians of Peace. Swiss food giant Nestle is bringing in a team of robots to sell coffee makers in Japan. This is Pepper, one of 20 humanoid robots recruited to interact with customers at a chain of electronic stores.
ネスレのペッパーですよろしくお願いしますお願いします。ああ、これいいですね。ハンドルが本当に可愛いですね。これいいなと思って。これはもう本当に可愛いですね。これいいなと思って。これはもう本当に可愛いですね。これいいなと思って。これはもう本当に可愛いですね。これいいなと Now, finally, baby bats are capturing attention online. This video has been posted on YouTube. It shows new arrivals to the Australian Bat Clinic on the Gold Coast hinterland. The little flying foxes were admitted after an extreme heat event separated them from their mothers. This clip is called Baby Bat Burritos. <music> The clinic says it and many other wildlife groups in the country's east have been inundated with baby bats that have been rescued. These orphans will be cared for at the clinic until they're old enough to be released.